Hey, welcome back everyone. This time the tutorial would be very different. It's not exactly a tutorial, but it's a script which is shared by our very good friend Eric, who is an ex compositor with Mill. So, what he has done over here is he has shared a script which will help us remove markers, markers from face, markers from hand, markers from any part of the body. And you can actually go and try this thing with uh, a chroma screen or something. So what we'll do now is, let's begin. Let's see what Eric has shared. So let's begin. And this is the script which has been shared by Eric. Now, as you can see, this is the footage that I have taken from Tears of Steel. The description of the script, basically the download link of the script, the download link of the footage, everything is given in the description. I'm also attaching the show reel of Eric, which you can click and which you can see on YouTube. So let's see what he has done. Now, if you see the script over here, it's very simple. It's really very simple. There is nothing much over here, but the way he has done it is really brilliant. We should be walking through it, but first see what was the footage and what we have done simply by using Eric's script for removing the marker. So now over here on this lady's hand, you have markers which we can see all these points over here can you see that now this may be used for uh, maybe adding a cg element or maybe doing something majorly whenever we add tracker is for motion okay we need to get the motion out of the object so this is what we have and this is what the script was but using eric's simple script what he has created over here and i it's so simple but it's so effective that you can easily get an output like this just see the simple okay nothing much over here inside the script but look at the output what we're getting over here so what we'll do now is i'll walk you through of how can you use the script okay there are majorly only two portions that where we actually need to concentrate on rest of the things eric has set it up really nice but if you feel like tweaking if you are an advanced compositor and maybe some of the short you may not be able to get the right output maybe you can tweak it Okay, so let's go to his script. So this is what his script is. And let me just zoom into this. So we have a footage over here, which is getting channeled in two parts. One is basically going to this over here. The key mix has a background plate. There is another input which is coming from the key mix from the A. Now, for easy uh, recognition, what I have done is, I have majorly divided this into two parts. There is a core mechanism which Eric has created and there is a secondary mechanism which Eric has created over here. So in the core mechanism, what he does is, so the footage comes, okay, channels over here and in this core mechanism, the first thing that happens is the footage is converted. So the footage is converted from linear to log. Then it goes forward and gets into this option over here, which is basically the alpha. Now the alpha, now the hood over here, or basically the core thing that's running in the background is this tracker alpha or the tracker markers, okay, the removal part. So we'll see this at the end. So that's something which will be basically punching over here. And he has created a very simple group over here, which is nothing more than an IBK color, okay, having the same old parameters of an IBK color. He has just grouped it and removed certain things which he has mentioned over here. Okay, he has nicely given all the annotations. So if you can spend some time and read his annotation, you'll be basically getting all this. Okay, how things are going to happen. Any which ways, I'll be attaching the script inside the description of this video. So please go ahead and feel and do whatever you want to do and explore it. Then he passes it through certain medians. He passes it through a blur. Okay, which he has already set it. Dithering, which is already happening over here. Then it passes. And it goes to something over here, which is basically nothing more than because we converted the lean to a log. We are converting it back from a log to a lin, which he has already connected through an expression. So this is basically going to happen. Now, this gets connected in the key mix A, which is over here. But right now, as you see, there is no difference happening over here. The reason being, we have done nothing inside the this part that is the face marker part or maybe the marker part okay if you want to rename it so let's go to this roto paint 
and let's start painting some things. Let's try painting some markers. So what we'll do is we'll just keep the output has one so that we can see the final thing that we have over here. And now let's go to the roto paint node. Let's take the brush, zoom in. Maybe I can press shift, make the marker bigger or basically the brush bigger or smaller. So I'll just keep it over here and I'll just brush this area. You see that? But now suddenly you'll see there is a black patch which is coming over here, but we can, we have to change this because uh, there is this IBK group that he has created, which we need to tweak. So let me just remove this part also. It will turn black. That's okay. Turning black is a good sign because we have to tweak that. And once more, just do this, let it turn black. So I have done this. Basically the brushing on this three markers over here. Now, this is one portion that we need to work on. The second portion that we need to work on is the IBK group that he has over here. So inside this group, you just need to play with the erode and then the patch black and you will see voila, the trackers are gone. And the same way now, once you have done all the setting, it is so smooth. You can just now go over here, sorry, not the footage, but the roto paint. I can just zoom into this. I can come to the roto paint over here and I can simply remove this marker now. I don't need to do any setting. I just need to brush. So it's like live I'm working and I'm creating, I'm getting rid of this marker. So it's a very excellent script that he has given us over here. And uh, we are really thankful for Eric okay, for sharing the script, for sharing his uh, experience with us. And it's a very nice and neat script that you can use over here for removing the markers. So simple script, which is attached in the description of YouTube. Hope you guys like it. Do feel free and make changes to it. Do feel free and use it in other assignments and your projects. Try it on a chroma screen because when Eric gave it to me, it was basically done on a face, but I have done it on a hand. If anybody of you can try this on a chroma screen or any other place for any other application, maybe for wire removal shots or something like that, please go ahead and try this. Enjoy, try, experiment and do let us know in the comment what do you think about this script? Till we meet next time, thank you.